I was tasked to an ammonia gas leak um, from the Kersbrook Cold Store. To my delight, CFS were there. Mm -hmm. We were about 20 seconds into our conversation when we heard a pop like a champagne cork, and then the biggest hiss you've ever heard. It was deafening. I got 50 metres down the road and a family car was coming the other way. A male passenger got out and I told him that, look, it's a, a dangerous gas leak. You need to get your family and go. And unknown to me, um, ammonia fog had formed and it hit me like a brick wall, basically. I couldn't breathe. Cough for about 10 minutes, really violently. I waited for the ambos at the cordon point. We got to hospital. The first hour was crucial. <clears throat> that within four hours, your lungs could close over and you could die. I just sat there for the four hours, just hoping that nothing bad would happen. By the Tuesday, I went to my GP and she advised me to get to the hospital pretty quickly. My wife checked me into the casualty area and I collapsed in the casualty area. The result of the injury, well, they're still undetermined at this stage. I've still got pains in my lungs at the moment and I'm on pain medication for that. Cost for painkillers at the moment and for a steroid spray that I have. Um, so the department's meeting those costs at the moment, but that will eventually run out. So that means I bear the costs of any future, future problems I have with my lungs and medication and things like that. So that's just going to put extra pressure and strain on my family. Um, my wife now says, you know, it's just a stupid job. With this new legislation, it's a stupid job to do. I think the public should get on the website uh, uh, to protect our cops, to sign up the petition and let the government know that they are concerned about this, that we deserve a fair go.